Hello, we are Team KOS, and welcome to Lake Superior State University. LSSU is a small public university located on the St. Mary's River in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. LSSU prides itself on being a public university with the feeling of a private education, and Lake Superior State School of Engineering and Engineering Technology is no exception to that. Within the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology, students can receive bachelor's degrees in either mechanical, electrical, computer, robotics, or technology engineering degrees. With each one of these degrees, students not only learn engineering theories in the classroom through professor-led courses, but students additionally receive excellent real-world, hands-on labs to reinforce their knowledge learned in the classroom. LSSU Engineering is known for their state-of-the-art robotics laboratory, in which students complete labs on industrial-grade equipment during their degree in order to prepare them for industry after college. These labs include programming Staubleys, Fanix, KUKAs, Mirrors, and UR robots, and integrating them with work cell peripherals such as vision systems, rotary tables, and conveyor lines, all completed at the undergraduate level. In order to receive an engineering degree from LSSU, all senior engineering students must complete a year-long, two-semester course designed to prepare LSSU seniors for engineering outside of academia. To do this, senior engineering students are grouped up and are assigned to a multidisciplinary project that is to be completed for an industrial customer. This year, Team KOS, a team of six engineering seniors, Austin Helm, Cade Canterbury, Cameron Livingston, David Mitter, Justin Willis, and Alex Retlick, all led by our senior project faculty advisor, Dr. Masood Zarpour, have had the privilege of designing, simulating, and integrating a vision-based, depalletizing, and palletizing trade show ready work cell for KUKA Robotics. As an overview of this project, the work cell demonstration starts off with a machine vision system acquiring an image of the palette, sorting the palette data, and providing the depalletization robot, named Bosco, with the correct robot coordinates of each box in the palette. Bosco Bot proceeds to retrieve boxes off the incoming palette and places them onto an outgoing conveyor. On the other half of the work cell, the palletizing robot, named Betsy, uses work cell sensors and box data queued from Bosco to pick up the boxes on the incoming conveyor and place them onto an outgoing pallet. To complete this trade show ready work cell demonstration for KUKA Robotics, Team KOS was responsible for the design of the work cell including items like the conveyor, end of arm tooling, work cell barriers, sensors, controls, safety, and machine vision. In addition, Team KOS was responsible for the simulation of the work cell, the integration of the work cell components, and the development of vision to robot communication software and work cell programming. Upon completion of this project, KUKA Robotics will have obtained a trade show ready work cell allowing them to display new and upcoming technologies for the future. And for LSSU engineering seniors, they will have developed technical skills and gained invaluable industrial experience, solving real-world automation issues that cannot be acquired from the classroom.